Yeah, I haven't gone to the great gotcha in the sky that gives rockets yet. Unfortunately for me. Alright, let's go even higher up, I suppose. Because we can ascend right here, I think. Or is it too high? Oh, we're good. See what there is to look at what. Uh -huh. Where are you at, little buddy? However, in the world, will we get out of here? Whew. And there we go. Should have done that in the first place. Those are bombs. I need any bomb factory. They're bombs. Let's see what you gotta do. Okay, so if we recall and then climb the ladder, we might be able to do this. Let's see now, maybe this will give it to us. Oh gosh! <laughs> okay, well we're on top of the ladder at least, that's something. Call one more time. And that might get it to us. There we go. Okay, bye. Okay, tooling, come on, come here, little buddy. There we go. Open this one, and then that leaves three more to find. Thank you, Tulin. You're literally saving my life, little buddy. Leave it to me. And there we go. Fair enough. Let's not use a bomb, maybe. That could be bad for our health. Almost as bad as fire. Could just be stuck. If we do that. Oh, okay. Okay, toolin, buddy. Can we just jam an icicle into the system? Will that work? Okay, it looks like, yeah, we just need a specific size. Leg. Oh, okay, that's what you meant. Oh, okh okay, okay, I don't know why I was thinking we needed to, like, 
Philip's head the icicle into the machine to get it to move, but that makes so much more sense. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's a brain no work moment. <laughs> Now that makes, that actually makes sense. You don't need to needle point the icicle into the tiniest of holes. Nintendo is not that evil. <laughs> Very funny. And you should embrace it. Gotta be that, uh, glad they brought back temples. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my goodness! Wow, look at you! Colgara, Scourge of the Wind Temple! That thing must be what's causing the blizzard! Okay! We've got to take it down! Yeah, we do, but let's go! <laughs> We found another comma, guys! We got another Oxford comma! Tulin, my brave fledgling. I know that voice. It's you. You're the one who's been guiding us? Yes, I am your ancestor from a time long ago. I proudly served Hyrule's first king. I was a Rito warrior and a sage with control of the wind. Where you fight, the winds follow. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You make me proud. That monster you defeated, the source of that intense blizzard, it was summoned by the Demon King. He thought it could stop you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? This is a lot to learn all of a sudden, I know. But listen while I tell you what happened in the past. A tale of the imprisoning war, and the mission our people must accomplish. Years ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, a great evil, the Demon King, 
descended on the land. He sought to wipe out anyone who opposed him. But Raru, the first king of Hyrule, requested my aid, as well as that of five other warriors, to help in the fight. Raru entrusted us with amazing artifacts, secret stones, objects that amplified our formidable abilities. I carried one into battle as the Sage of Wind. It was thrilling to fight alongside my fellow sages. Yet we were still no match for the Demon King's overwhelming power. His magic was staggering, and I was unable to slip past his defenses, no matter how hard I tried. In the end, King Raru realized that we would not be able to defeat the Demon King. To save our world, King Raru sacrificed himself and sealed the Demon King away. So that was the imprisoning war. The rest of us survived that climactic battle, and I would soon receive a visitor with a request that would define the future of the Rito. It was another of the Six Sages, the Sage of Time. The Demon King will return. The magic binding him will be undone. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will only succeed with the Rito's help. Summon the winds and support this hero. It was clear what part the Rito would play. It will be an honor to defeat the Demon King. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Rito Sage of Wind will awaken once more. And you can count on the full support of the Rito. And now you know about the Imprisoning War, and a mission I accepted on our behalf. You've saved Rito Village, but there's more to do. The Demon King will soon recover his full strength. Tulin, my brave fledgling, you must take up my secret stone and honor the Sage of Time's request. Fight the Demon King with the Swordsman Link. I, Tulin, the Sage of Wind, swear to fight by your side until the end. Take this! It's proof that I'm with you! You can use that ring to call on my power anytime, all right? Okay, let's head back to the village and tell Dad. I'm happy that Tulin is learning to be better than Rivali. <laughs> In some sense, at least. Mm -hmm. uh -huh.
My brain is too smooth for numbers. I own yes, I'm a crow. I only respond to shiny and or uh funny looking. There we go. Yeah, I I don't need to transport a stable wagon exactly. I need to commit war crimes against small defenseless creatures with backpacks. Did you say you wanted to commit war crimes against innocent creatures? Well, we have to find a Korok to commit a war crime against. We can't just... We can't just... We can't just, uh... We can't just... Okay, I'm not... No. No, no, no. Focus. We're going one place. We're going one place. Admittedly, it doesn't have a backpack, but still... I mean, we can't commit the war crimes, right? We can't commit the war crimes if it doesn't have a backpack. That's just, it's, we have, if it doesn't have a backpack, we're obligated to follow the Geneva Convention. Or, I'm sorry, Geneva Suggestions. Otherwise, we're good to go. Everyone's crucifying Koroks, why can't I? You know, getting through this section of Hyrule Field, it makes me miss the Guardians. Maybe we'll maybe we'll maybe we'll get one. That's the gift of the it's also a, it's also a threat. Maybe we'll get one that's like an Age of Calamity Guardian fight. That would be that would be really cool. Thank you. Have a nice death. And goodbye. And goodbye. I think the only issue with it, they don't burn in Death Mountain, so I don't think they burn at all, which I think renders the whole the whole process ineffective. <laughs> like I don't think Koroks can I don't think Koroks can burn alive, unfortunately. So we can't torture them like that, as much as we may want to. And by we, I mean I and every other player that's been doing this for the past month. <laughs> There's quite a lot to still be doing. <laughs> Did you see? We just dragged him along with the towing harness. Oh my, that's horrifying. Today, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we uncover the true intentions of the Koroks and their dark secrets. What is this, a Nintendo Crisis Black video? <laughs> Are you kidding? Okay. Are this... Is the Bloodborne timer shorter in this game? Because I feel like every single time we've been outside, there's always a Blood Moon. <laughs> okay, sparkle for us a little bit. Oh. Not quite. Almost. Zelda's dying. Zelda's like dying trying to figure something out to get home. We're just like, I want a picture of a sparkly mushroom. <laughs> Unlike Breath of the Wild, I don't want to skip that Blood Moon cutscene because it's making me think about what's happening with her because I'm still on the. I'm still on the. She's fine, clearly. I don't think she is. I don't think she is. She sounds dead inside. Which, I mean, fair, given everything that's happened to her, but I don't think she's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I never said she was fine mentally. That is a good point. You did ne You never did say mentally. Just physically. She's alive. Yeah, just physically. She's gonna need therapy for the rest of her life, but physically she's okay. But now, until I hear a violin played by a musician, musician in a troupe, I can't bear the thought of ever going outside again. Fam, that just sounds like depression, but honestly, I get it. I'll see what I can do. Alright. Yeah, okay, you can do that. And then get crushed. Frightful, the whole thing. That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of our, ho our horse bolted away. Off it ran into the night. No. But the real tragedy that involved one of, the, one of the most crucial members of our troop. 
Our beloved Breezer. Some of its wheels broke, and now we can't even transport our instruments to performances. Or us! I'm not getting the angle right. There we go. Let's give him a spare wheel, just in case. The most wrong wheel. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what they do for cars and give them two spare wheels. Just, just in case. They can have two, they can have, they can have a couple spares. Oh my good god. Get that off of the car. There we go. And now they have some extra wheels for their wagon for when this inevitably happens again. Uh, let's not run them into a tree, how about? It's not your sense of direction thing. You kind of just have to uh, look with your eyes. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. We didn't fall, what? of the great fairies the Yahoo! the like drag aesthetic is so nice yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the music was great too fine honestly i love the great fairy style anyway just how their designs like take from dr the drag like the drag queen aesthetic like it's so good it looks so pretty where's our horse Where's her where's spirit? Is that again? Where's where'd spirit go? Oh. No. Oh. Oh, okay. He, he was just boarded. Oh, okay. I got really worried for a second. Okay. Oh. Mm. Leave the harness. Is that who I think it is? Is that the only good crypto bro? I want to be a Satori, I will be a Satori, I'll do whatever it takes. Loving the nail polish, dude. Sorry about your problem, though. At last, at last, the time has ta come. Time to gobble down the bubble gem. What? You eat them? Okay, you're supposed to eat them? I need to reach my friend. Oh, do you know? Where's your friend at, buddy? Wait, I have a better idea. Hang on. I have an even better idea. Do we have the means to cut down trees? Hold on. We're gonna commit war crimes. Go. And now we can attach this to the horse. <laughs> <Get around. laughs> there we go. You'll reach your friend, don't worry. It just might take a few days. <laughs> don't mind me, sir. I'm just taking your building materials for totally ethical reasons. You know, he, see he sees me building this crucifix. He does not see the core, actually. He just sees me using magic. Using magic to make a religious symbol, presumably. Alright, little guy. And you are the star of the show. Make it upside down. Korok said, towards the long side. Ooh! Right, right. Give him the St. Peter crucifixion. There we go. I think the only way this could be any worse is if we just flipped it upside down so that he would... You know what? Now that I'm saying it, I'm gonna do it. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Don't worry, we 
we've just got a passenger, and he is, uh... We, we, we're just, we're just baptizing him. It's fine. <laughs> just in time for the crucifixion. Yep. Exactly right. Exactly right. So, your friend is right there. Cool. We'll deliver you and a message to the Lord. Go. See, I told you we'd get there. He's like, hold on, he's like, what did you do to my friend? What have you done? <laughs> okay, I entirely lost the way. Where am I going? How do I get to Zara Domain from here? Ooh, is that? Oh, God! Oh, dear God! What's happening? Are we having a panic moon right now? Oh my god! Okay, let's let's snipe him. Okay, let's not. What is that thing? Why? Why are you the way that you are? I don't like you. Don't! No, 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 no. Struggle! Struggle! Ooh, boy, baby, no. Jeez, what? What was that? Am I supposed to kill those or? Oh, oh hey, we get dark clubs from that. Okay. Bet. I'm... Okay, I'll just move on. I'll get out of here. I'll just run. Is that what happens when I stick around the sludge too long? Okay. Let's move. Let's move. Well, now I see why the Zora are, um, dying. Quite surprised to learn that you were the ones who did my swordsman survey. I've heard mention of you every day since I first arrived in this domain. I am Prince Sidon, so forgive me, I am your best friend's fiance. Ooh! Okay, my name is Yana. <laughs> I'm truly honored to have the opportunity to meet you, Sir Mike. Caretaker of the Zora. Mm -hmm. I see that you were missing along with Princess Zelda. If I may ask, what brings you here? Howdy. Ah! Riven, it's so nice to see you, Link. Welcome. Are you looking for Prince Sidon? Aye. You'll find him over there intently focused on his important work. Mm -hmm. I'm certain that if Prince Sidon knew you were here, he'd be overjoyed to see you, Link. Now then. Please go see him right away. I will. Hold on a second. I want to throw something like this. Let me see if we can get yeah. this. We kind of have these silly side adventures. Spirit, my boy, come here. Or don't, I guess. <laughs> most of it. No! You are doing this in the most unintended way? Am I? It's not supposed to be a bridge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. I guess we're not doing that. I just remembered we the reason I remembered the whole reason we went over there was to talk to somebody as soon as I hit the teleport button. <laughs> God, that wasn't that wasn't even like that wasn't a throw for content or anything. I just legitimately forgot. <laughs> As soon as I went over there. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I wonder what our goal is standing about five feet away from where it needs from where we need to go. It's like, I don't remember where to go. Maybe I should ask Sidon. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah, they'll never know. They <laughs> looking at the spear spear right here, they'll never know that someone is here. <laughs> Hello! Are you okay? <laughs> Who approaches? Is that you? So it is. Link! Hello, Muzu, you're looking fantastic. Oh. 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 Oh my god. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. When Sidon's aura is charged, he create a bubble of water that blocks an ink. Let's make a board bridge, let's go. 
I think I know what I must do and how I want to do it. All right, let's see if that's enough. Maybe we can. Maybe we can do this. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> that was so stupid. We could have just ascended. <laughs> I'm never doing anything the easy way again. That was <laughs> system error. I just explode. <laughs> There's a blood. Are you kidding me? Why every time? There are never blood moons, right? There are never. There never seem to be blood moons when I am not when I'm not streaming. It's always when we're when we're doing something. I need to reach my friend. Oh yeah, you do, little buddy. Where is your friend? Where is your friend, guy? Here. Here. You just serve as the stopgap for our stuff for a second, please. And there you go. You're safe with me, bud. There we go. <laughs> but also, where's your friend again? <laughs> I don't want to take him off and talk to him. What? How? My friend is sending up a smoke sig. Okay. I thought, I thought your friend was over here. You know, as your Uber driver, I'm gonna have to charge extra for this. I hope you. You're gonna reach a friend, bud. You're okay. You're gonna reach him, and you're gonna be in good health and great spirits when you get there. We've 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 established he's had his pyre's been chosen for him. His crimes are numerous and many. We must burn this heretical thing and remove it from the face of our uh, pure world. I don't know. I don't do religion. Anyway, burn! Burn! <laughs> oh, yes, get in the fire. There we, there we go. There we go. Hey, I have your Uber Eats delivery. Uh, here you go. I do need to be paid for this, however. Yeah, okay, I'll take that as payment. Is she delivery deep fried? It's baked, actually. A little healthier. Alright, Spirit, you stay down here. Make sure this man enjoys his Uber Eats. Make sure he rates five stars through whatever means necessary. Forgot the napkins. It's fine. He seemed happy. He paid me, so he didn't care about the napkins. He seemed, he seemed very happy with his meal.